What's up YouTube? It's Coach Connor here with another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking. Trevor Bauer stole my slogan, so I'm going to steal his intro. This video is for subscribers only, so I'm going to give you guys one moment really quick. Scroll down, hit subscribe. Once you guys are done with that and after watching the video, go over, check out my merch store. Got some pretty cool stuff. Shohei Otani, special edition, limited edition stuff. Got some Champ Pro stuff. Really cool, nice material. Really appreciate if you guys were to check out that. Then I got my Twitch channel where I go live almost every single day. RBI underscore baseball underscore LLC. You guys can check out my streaming schedule on Instagram and Twitter at RBI baseball underscore LLC. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the video. There we go. Stride. Front knee, front knee, front knee, front knee, front knee. Let me know when you're there. Yeah, re leg. Turn the hips. Hips, 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 hips. Now shoulders, 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 shoulders. There we go. Out of baby. Stay along long that spine. Rotate around the spine. Stay around the spine. Great job. Come back whenever you're ready. Good part of the barrel. Good part of the barrel. Out of baby. Good. I'm just gonna talk to the doodad. So this is a PVC drill that I do. The PVC is representing the pitch plane. So right now we're working a very extreme pitch of high and in. This is a pitch that I'm never really gonna expect any of my clients or anyone really in that matter to consistently try and do damage to. Um, this is a very difficult pitch. It's one that you have to be completely efficient with your body movement. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get good barrel there. So this is why I don't expect my guys to, in a game, be looking to try and get there to this pitch. But what we're working is this PVC starts about the front of his hip. And he's going to go through slow motion, and he's breaking down the swing into each different component in it. So right now he's getting knee tension. Now he just released his rear leg. Now we're turning the hips. Now we're turning shoulders. Now this is when the bat comes off of the shoulder. Now we're rotating around the spine. I've come over and put the PVC to try and show them what they're trying to rotate around. And then we always come back slow motion just like we just were. Good part of the barrel on the PVC. I had a baby. Once we get three of those, I go ahead and I let them swing off of the tee, trying to recreate that feeling that they just had with the PVC. And I let them swing as many times as they need to get that feeling. I'm gonna grab my lazy doodad. Right? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Uh, I guess you can't really see it on that TV, but on the iPad. Yeah. There we go. Feel good? Great job. Oh, it says you yank that bad boy. Let's go. Well done. So once we get a high and inside, we do another extreme low and away. Go ahead and get in your stance. And I kind of put this just on the inside of their rear leg, just on the inside. So that way they are able to get tension. And I'm going to have zero of the PVC back behind the T. This is a pitch where I don't want them to try and get on plane by hitting the catcher. I want them to get on plane by rotating with their body and then allowing the barrel like right here to come out. Great job. If I was to have this all the way back here, now we're training on a casting type, go ahead. Now we're training on a casting type motion. 
where we want to stay tight. And right after he comes off that PVC, he's going to curl right back around the shoulder. Whatever we do forwards is exactly how we're going to do it backwards in the exact same order as well. So right now he's going to go through. He's going to go stride. He's going to try and get max tension with his front knee right here. And then he's going to get a leg snap with his rear leg. And then it's going to be a hip turn. And then it's going to be a body turn. Then the hands are going to release. We're going to get a good part of the barrel on the PVC. And then in that exact same order, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to have a good part of the barrel on the PVC. We're going to bring the bat around. The shoulders are going to recoil. The hips are going to recoil. The back foot's going to go back and we're back into our stance. I have them go and do each location three times just so that way they're able to consistently get that feeling and timing. If they do something wrong, if something doesn't feel right, allowing them to go three times in a row lets them kind of feel and fail on their own and make adjustments on their own. If you're consistently being, if you're only doing one rep on this, they can't make adjustments they notice what they kind of do wrong or they feel the unbalancedness or whatever it may be. And then they don't make the adjustments because they don't get the opportunity. So I always make sure that they get at least three uh, in on it. If they're still struggling with it, I'll keep extending it to where they have to do a few more. But that's all, only if they're struggling with it. Oh, baby. So again, these are extreme pitches. This is a pitch that's on the outside uh, chalk, deep by his thigh, rear leg thigh. Uh, the idea of this is if they're able to be confident on a pitch that's this extreme and still able to hit it well, anything in the middle of that, so anything from knees up and other batter's box in all the way to chest height from the other batter's box we have full confidence with. Make sure we get a little ice cream going, okay? Out of baby, let's go. Atta baby. Let's get a quick pick, sir. This lesson is brought to you by RBI Baseball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last time I saw you, we made an adjustment with our upper half. What adjustment was that? Hands back. Or hands like hidden. Back does nothing really for us. Okay, that's us actually getting out of tension. Hiding them, getting kind of that curl a little bit. It's gonna allow us to keep tension, but not allow them to just shoot straight out. Okay, so right now I'm seeing us and we're like out here a lot. So I'm thinking maybe like. When you were struggling, was it timing? Like what, what was struggling? You, when we're not feeling like Spencer. So are you late? Are we like just a skimp late? So are we just a, just a tad late? What? What? No worries, no worries. So the le one on the far left, that's the number that we really want. Isn't it, if it's green, it's good? Yes. Yeah, that's the one on the far left, that's the number that we want to. Rotational acceleration, so how quickly we are rotating around our spine. The amount of force that we're creating.
Pause right there. Uh, no worries, no worries. Pause. Don't move. First photo I've taken. Look at the hands. And that's us working on it. So imagine what they were like when we were just all willy-nilly. Okay, so whatever you think you're at right now, let's see if we can get a little bit more. Okay, and it doesn't have to be like, Okay, if we need to be a little bit loose, that's fine. But right now, it's just looking like we're here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait, one second. Oh, I'm late. Okay, so let's see if we need to just eliminate that step right there. Okay. You're my first photo, Spina. <laughs> We're taking one quick moment, stopping the lesson, just check and make sure that you guys have liked, subscribed the video. If not yet, that's okay. We're gonna give you one quick little break just to go ahead and do that. Just to let me know that you guys are appreciating the content and getting something from it. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a comment down below if I'm doing something right, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Hold the after swing, okay? I'm just gonna talk to the mic, okay? So this is a drill where we're looking to try and keep a body move. So I don't want the hands to be the one shooting out. There we go. I want it to be a turn around the spine with our whole body. That's tough, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. Uh, I wanna get there we go, to where we're rotating around our spine with our hands next to our shoulder versus our body not rotating and our hands just shooting out to go hit the ball. So I have a deadlifting weight or a, or a, a uh, weightlifting strap uh, on his hand. It has a little... Uh, a uh, little uh, buckle ordeal, um, and then that's actually a, uh, if anyone's interested for what he's wearing on his chest, I'll send it to you separately. Uh, a baby, great job. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah? The kid. Hell yeah, hell yeah, love to hear that. <coughs> so what we're seeing with this is it forces the player to rotate with their body because there are bands that are attached from that uh, chest harness. Hide your hands.
<laughs> Atta baby. Two seventy eight. Chest just a little bit taller, just a small smidge. Good. Good. I heard that thing. That, it went. Whoo. Yeah. Out of kid. Great job, Spina. My bad, my bad. How's our balance? Make our adjustments. That was a good swing, dude. Yeah. I like the swing. Great job. Keep your hands tight. <laughs> Out of baby. Quick pick, sir. Quick pick. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you guys like the content, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell. If you want some other baseball content, check out the rest of my channel. I have a podcast with some old baseball college buddies of mine where we dive deep into the MLB and some college. I also have some other drills, lessons, and games. You can check all that out here on my channel. I go live on Twitch almost every single day, RBI underscore baseball underscore LLC. You guys can check out my streaming schedule 
on Twitter and Instagram, RBI Baseball underscore LLC. All of these lessons are done at Hit Dingers Baseball Academy located in Arvada, Colorado.